Cooler, clear to play. Mini War Gaming's beat the cooler. Bat rap. Hey there, Mini War Gamers. Owen here from Mini War Gaming with David. We are playing some War Machine because I'm into War Machine right now, and that's why we played War Machine all those other times with Michael. And now we're doing it again. And this time, my Menoff is squaring off against Retribution. So 15 points. We're gonna have a nice, quick game, and Harbinger's going to kill everything. All right, here we go. Classic my list because unfortunately I haven't got much painted since the last time I played. But we've got the six exemplars. He's armless because Privateer Press didn't pack enough correct arms. But more's on the way. Privateer Press is good for that. They will send you arms if you don't get them all. We've got the Harbinger in all of her winged glory. One of these, he's just there to protect her. And because I need Warjack points. I don't know your name, Piper. And incinerators. Woo, 15. All right, here we go. We have 15 points of retribution. Full group of Mage Hunter Strike Force with the unit attachment. Yes, no? Yep. Yes, that's him, I yes, think. That's, him. that's the one. Look at how nice and red and black he is. And now we've got Kalissa. Yeah. Mage Hunter and a Banshee. 15 points. This is our board. We haven't rolled through who's going first yet. I'm gonna assume it's me, because I'm better at rolling dice. So, here we are after deployment. Menoth won the roll off to go first. They have advanced deploy, and we are just going to straight up cast or kill one another. Start off on Menoth turn one. First thing, the Harbinger gives a piece of focus to the Devout, and then walks up on the hill and does her feet. So anyone moving closer within 20 inches will take a POW 14 fire damage. And then the Devout uses the focus to make her not targetable by spells. Um, Rupert moves up and then he gives the Cinerators, who are then running forward, a uh, plus one defense is what he ends up giving him. And then the Exemplars run up and they just kind of close the gap, moving up as close as we can before we get in the uh, fight with his Retribution. So, Ret turn begins. He gives Phantom Hunter on the big guy, the, his Jack there, and then moves Kalissa up. And he's not inside my control yet, but the assassin moves up and then tries to run out. But she is just inside of the, uh, the feet, and it does hit her for a ton of damage and kills his assassin, so that's definitely unfortunate for him. And yeah, we were just double checking the math and he's, he's dead. So he tried to shoot, couldn't make it with his uh, sniper. And now he advances up with his jack, dice minus four. Oh, my, minus five, my mistake. So it does two points of damage. It doesn't actually have a shield on this one, so it just takes it to the column. And then my incinerators continue to advance up. Which, by advance, I mean run. Because we just gotta close the gap, because he's got so much shooting. So, tough on the incinerators now. And the exemplars, they continue to run up. Heading up as close as we, like I said, we just, I gotta get closer. He's got all this shooting. I have all melee. I just need to get closer. And then... Once again, Harbinger, or sorry, not the Harbinger. Retribution's turn begins. Kalissa upkeeps his spells. He starts off firing away with his uh, unit of Mage Hunters into my Exemplars, and he's missed twice now. Third guy hits, and he does tons of damage here. But, no, oh, no, that kills me. I just kind of replaced him with the guy who has no arms, because I don't really like that model, but I'm still waiting on Privateer Press to get the new arms. Fires another shot, hits, kills, another guy goes down, so they're now plus two armor. Uh, the fifth guy fires away, needs a six to hit, misses, next guy fires, and he hits, and now he needs a six, I believe, to kill. Does not. Now the squad leader, or the, uh, the unit attachment, hits, and he kills him, so that's that for that guy. Next archer shoots, shooting the guy in the back. Hits. Nine to kill now. Nope, not quite. Next guy, shooting the next guy. Hits, and nine to kill. Nope. And second last, shooting away. He misses. Oh no, hit, my mistake. And kills that guy, so that's good for him. And then the last one shoots. Trying to hit, and he hits. 
And he doesn't kill, so he survived. Now his caster's doing her feet, so they all gain stealth and they can't be charged. So that's nice for him. Hits my exemplar with his caster shooting. But he does survive, buys another attack. He hits, and he needs like an 8, I believe, here to kill. He ends up boosting it. And he still does not get it. So that's definitely fortunate for my guys. But he buys another attack, which hits, and he decides to boost it once again. And... Blam, that's the end of that guy. So there's only one exemplar left, and... He's the toughest. Now he's shooting the jack at my cast, or my little guy there. He takes that off, he decides he's gonna buy- he, dis he was debating whether or not he wanted to boost a hit. And he ends up deciding not to. So he rolls off- oh no, he decided to, my mistake. So he does roll- he does boost, but the harbinger takes Z3 points of damage to keep that guy alive. And he gets pushed back one inch, and he's knocked down. And the harbinger takes three damage. She then gives one to the devout. And this guy's gonna give up his action to stand up. And then he just advances up behind the wall there. And the Cinerators, they all run up just to engage everything or as much as they can because they can't attack or they can't charge anyway into his front arc. So I figure I'll just close in and keep them tied up so they can't shoot. And then Rupert moves up. He gives tough on the Cinerators. And then the Harbinger herself moves up just a little bit because I don't run away. And I spend three to heal my character to full health. And then the Devout moves up and uses his one point to make her not be targetable by spells. Calissa begins. And once again, she keeps her spells up kept. The Banshee kind of shimmies through the space. Needs a five to hit on the one guy. Miss. He's got a second initial. And hits. And now he does dice damage to my Cinerator, who is armor 17 right now. And 7. He lives by 1. He's got 8 boxes. So, 1 left. And now he attacks again. He's buying an attack, which hits. And I need to make a tough roll. I do not. So that is the end of that Cinerator. Now he buys another attack with his sword, aiming for the other, or other uh, Cinerator. Hits, dice damage, he needs an 8 to kill. So he dies. And I totally forgot to do a tough roll right there, it looks like, but that's okay. Not a big deal, my fault. And then he advances up with his um, Mage Hunter Strike Force. Who are just closing in as much as they can. Because if he can kill my caster right here, then he wins the game, right? So, Harbinger is really close, and... Even if he doesn't go for the Harbinger, at least he can try and kill the uh, Exemplar who's standing there. So, he's checking his range, shooting the closest guy, or the furthest guy, towards the Exemplar. And he hit, and he needs an 11. And he did not get it. Now he's shooting at my caster with the next mage. He needs an 8. Hit. Nope, oh, miss. My mistake. Next guy. Miss. Next guy, hits, oh, this is it. He ignores my focus, so it's dice minus four. And he does, one, two, three, four, five, it looks like. Next guy shoots, hits, dice minus four. And then he takes another four more. Then the next guy shoots, that's a miss. Next guy shoots. Yeah, so he needs a 7 to hit on this guy. And this guy needs a 10. And the next one needs an 8. And he hits. Dice minus 4. And he does another 2 points. So, bit by bit. Next guy shoots. And he misses. So, Kalissa moves up. And he shoots at the Exemplar with Kalissa. Which misses and that's that so the menace turn begins the exemplar steps over the wall engaging three and swings at the uh the unit attachment but he misses the incinerators step up one of them walks over towards the jack and the other two just kind of fight but or sorry the one other one walks away so he can get a free strike and then the last one stays to finish him off free strike hits and he gets boosted to damage 
which he rolls great for. And I end up taking five points of damage on that incinerator. But he survives, which is all that matters. And then the first attack miss. Second attack hits. This is me swinging at the Warjack, mind you. Dice minus five, so I did seven points of damage. Oh no, I did five points of damage. They're minus seven. There we go. And the other guy misses the last of his um, mage hunters that were sitting on the hilltop there. Harbinger moves up with the Devout and spends three to do purification to get rid of his upkeeps. And then she spends more to do the uh, Cataclysm. So the guy in the middle automatically destroyed because it doesn't have to roll the hit. Now I need to roll four to kill. So first guy died, second guy died, and now the next guy, he's dead too. And the last guy, he's also dead. And that's the end of them. So now Harbinger, or Harbinger, the Retribution begin their turn in just a moment here. First, oh, I decide to heal the uh, Harbinger as much as I can, and then I give battle to, or I give uh, the extra defense to the Harbinger with Rupert, which technically I shouldn't have been able to do. So I don't, I'm not going to count that into whatever you see here rolled. So now he's just measuring his reach with his cat, or his uh, jack. And he took a free strike from my incinerator as he walked away, and it was dice minus 7, but I still hit him for 11 points of damage. Which got one of his arms, but not enough, because I need to get the left arm, it's the one I really wanted. But now he can attack out, hits my exemplar, and he does kill him. So, unfortunate for him. Now his other hand goes for the other incinerator there, which misses. Now he's buying one with his big sword. Needs a five. And he hits. Now it's dice damage. And he decides to boost because he just really wants my guy destroyed. But I still survive. He, it was boosted but only on two dice because he'd lost most of that arm. And then he buys an attack with his sword arm. And both of those guys pretty much have one box left. So he attacks, hits, and he kills him. And that's the end of that incinerator. Kalissa moves up, tries to shoot at, or he does backlash first on my devout. He decides to boost it, which hits. And, or rather, he did backlash, then he uh, tried to shoot the caster, and then the jack stepped up to take the hit for her. And he did do damage. Dice minus four. Four damage. So he did four points of damage to the Harbinger. Now he's shooting with the Harbinger into, or shooting at the Harbinger with the uh, Mage Hunters. Hits. Dice minus four. Ah, oh, Snake Eyes. Almost made it. Next guy. Seven to hit. Miss. Next guy. Miss. Next guy. There we go. Here we go. Dice minus four. A big roll and he kills the Harbinger right here. Nope. Blam. Three boxes left. He decides to walk away from the incinerator, which technically he should have done that before he started shooting, but I let him do it and I end up getting snake eyes, so I don't actually hit him with the free strike and he gets his one last shot, which misses. And then Harbinger moves up and that's the end of the game because she can attack 11 times, automatically hitting, doing dice minus two. So, I wasn't aware that the Harbinger does not miss with any of her melee attacks, so she walked up, bought an attack, hits, dice minus two, five points of damage, buy an attack, hit, dice minus two, blam, another five points of damage, and I just do this right into the end, and that is the end of Kalissa. All right, Mini Wargamers, that is the end of this 15-point War Machine bat rep. And unfortunately, David did not win the $50 store credit because the Harbinger is amazing and he is unlucky. <laughs> he missed five times. You just needed that eight, and then you, diced, you, you got snake eyes for damage. <laughs> I honestly thought he was going to win at the end there <laughs> when, uh, when I was right on the edge. But I'm the cooler. 
and I cool dice. That's why I don't roll the hit, because I'm not lucky enough to do that kind of stuff. So I just bring OP casters. Apparently. Yeah. As I say this to retribution players, who are totally not cheesy in any way. But I play mana, so who am I to say? But anyway, if you want to get your own uh, War Machine stuff, click down below. And if you want to challenge myself or another Mini Wargamer, go to miniwargaming.com slash challenge. Happy Wargaming.